Hi oh guys, uh, Matt for Games here, back with a um, brand new video and today I'm doing my complete DVD collection. Um, a long awaited video which has had so many requests, even of people of Facebook um, wanting this video. So, um, yeah, it's a miserable day, it's raining outside if you can see. Uh, so, I thought why not make this video finally. Hope the last is alright. But um, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna start the movies first. Once I move my curtain out of the way. Scrunched up there. Should be alright, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down for this. Actually, yeah, I don't think I can. Neil, I guess. Okay, so. First movie out, all alphabetical. We have 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, quite a good film, if or not. Um, Heath. What's his name? Heath Ledger. Yep. Yeah. Good actor. 14 of 8. Um, an interesting Stephen King film. Bit of an annoying ending, but it's quite a good suspense thriller. Um, John Cusack, Samuel Jackson's a pretty good cast. Um, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and Ace Ventura When Nature Calls. Not seen these movies yet. I've seen bits of both of Channel 5 many times. Just from Bureau, haven't seen that yet. So far, film. Adventures of Tintin, I have seen that, it's pretty decent and it's quite cheap when I've got it. Airplane 2, the sequel. Ah, oh, funny films are really, really funny. Um, Amazing Spider Man, great superhero movie. Ants, great animated film. Part of 13, um, an excellent Tom Hanks movie, I really enjoy that one. Good sci fi too. Same with Armageddon, it's Bruce Willis instead, good film. Barton Fink, a Coen Brothers film, so I haven't got around to watching that one. Um, move on to some Battlestar of Galactia. Um, and the Plan Racer. Um, I did get the show a while ago, but I got rid of them. Never watched them. Ran out of space. Uh, Best Players, Nickelodeon films, that's pretty decent. Big, <laughs> great Tom Hanks film, who hasn't seen this movie. Great film. Big Trouble in this of China. Good sci fi film. Um, yeah, it looks really smart. Absolutely, yeah, but I know it's got great reviews. Bill and Ted Dexter and Adventure. Uh, that's just a dumb film. I, I'm not even sure if I've seen that one yet. I saw Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Um, we've got The Birds, an excellent Hitchcock film. Blade Runner, two disc special edition, Final Cut. Well, uh, within my top ten movies of all time, that is great sci fi. Can't wait to the sequel um, coming out in October, I think. Play to Glory, a uh, fun comedy film, got it for 25p a while ago, and it's actually turned out to be really good. Blair Witch Project, um, been wanting to see this for a while, got to watch that. Blaze and Saddles, Mel Brooks, Spaceballs. Uh, Bodyguard, great film actually, even though Whitney Houston's in it. Um, and we have The Bourne Trilogy, Identity, Supremacy, Tomato, I'm not counting like I say. Um, then we move on to Bowfinger, great, great comedy. Um, Breakfast Club, one of my favourite films ever. Also, probably in my top 10. Uh, Catch Me If You Can. Christmas with the Cranks, such a good Christmas film, I enjoy that every year. Chronicle, need to see that, of course. Cinderella Story, pretty decent film. Crash of the Titans. Click, it's always a fun comedy, yeah, there's, um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, didn't even watch this film, it's supposed to be great, had it for ages, Cloverfield, Clueless Whatever Edition, pretty decent film, um, Cocoon, Lateral, started watching that, let's get through it, Coming to America, fun comedy, Conan the Barbarian, and its sequel, Conan the Destroyer, Contact, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Batman Begins, and The Dark Knight. I did have Dark Knight Rises. They're all great films. Um, I got rid of that because I got some money for it, and I knew I was never going to watch it. And my dad's got it anyway. Day of the Ass of Steel, great film. Day of the Ass of Steel, um, original. I said Day After Tomorrow. Day After Tomorrow, the last one. Not Day of the Ass of Steel. Dead Zone, Stephen King, need to watch that. Dead the Halls, another great Christmas film. Dad, Fawn, a Tim, pretty cool. 
um, dodge balls are fun coming on. I have a lot of fun balls. Ah, yeah, um, that was a horrible single along vlog. Pretty good. I did a review on that on my channel a while back. Um, I'll link you to it. Um, Jobert Taylor could come at her. John Hughes wonder his last. Dumb and Dumber, great film. Same with Edward Scissorhands. Enter the Dragon. Escape from New York. The X. Father Ted 1 to 2. Fifth Element. Fire Starter. Rambo 1 and 2. First Blood though, it's under. The Fog. That's the original thing. Forrest Gump, great film. Film with Dick and Jane, okay. The Game. Goonies, a classic. Green Mile. Groundhog Day. Grown Ups, good film, a lot want two better. Hancock, great film. Happening. <laughs> um, Happy Gilmore. You know, hot dogs get a bad rep. A cool shape, a lot of protein. You know, hot dogs, right? Great quote from The Happening. If you've never seen that film, just, um, I was going to say watch it, but just don't. <laughs> that movie doesn't need more support. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Went to watch that and it froze. Great. Uh, the whole scary film. Home Alone 1 and 2. Great Christmas films. Hot Fuzz. Hilarious. Hot Shots 1 and 2. More great films. How the Grinch Sold Christmas. Pretty decent. And Hugo. Hunger Games. Arm Legend and Independence Day. They're all good films. I said that then because my knees are killing <laughs> I've been on the rages now, and um, my floor is not well carpeted, so it's basically sore. Um, let's sit down now. Okay, so we get on to I now. Just can't seem to get the first one out. Ah, Insomnia, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, Robot, great film. Iron Man, got that for Office to Fear Carbage, great film. Um, Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life, that's probably up there, my favourite films, I love that. Jack Whitehall Live, I watched some of that, it's funny. Jack, great Steve Martin. Jingle All the Way, classic. Juno, pretty good film. Karate Kid Remake, I quite like that. Um, Kung Fu Panda, got it for free from a friend. Larger Than Life, Last Samurai. Lawn Mower Man, Leon, uh, I need to watch that. Go back a bit. Liar Liar, hilarious. The Lonely Guy, Man of Steel, love that. Mars Attacks, Men in Black 1 through 3. Um, Mentalist Season 1, Michael McIntyre, Hello Wembley, Live and Laughing, Showtime, and Happy and Glorious, hilarious comedian, love him. Miller's Crossing. Um, need to see that. Millions, great film. Minority Report. Miracle and 34th Street. Oh, man, I'm just killing. Oh, remake. Uh, Mission Impossible 1 through 4. All good films. Mr. Deeds. Good Adam Sandler comedy. Naked Gun 2 and 3. Films. National Lampoon's Vacation and Christmas. And then we have one of my favourite shows, which I'm currently watching through. Um, OC, 3, 2, 1, falls there, got them all, I'm oh, on, I am getting towards the end of season 3 now, the season 4 shorter than the US, oh man, uh, No Country for Old Men, one of my favourite films, ah, oh, I'm just getting pins and needles, um, Ocean's Eleven, Pimp Panther, Planet of the Apes 1 to 5, and Remake, Rise and Dawn, need to watch them for war. Um, the Prestige. Oh my gosh, I can't lean on my arm like that. <laughs> uh, Public Enemies, really hope you can see that. Um, Pursuit of Happiness, Red Dwarf, um, 1 through 8, great show. Um, Rear Window, Rocky. Uh, if you wonder why I don't have. Um, Red Dwarf OC Mentalist um, with my TV shows it's because the men and Father Ted me they, would, they would all look out of place a bit because a lot of them are normal DVD cases and all my TV shows are thick unless they're a part of a series which previously had thick cases on scrubs um, so that's why 
Maybe a bit of a weird reason to you guys. Uh, Running Man, gnarly film, but a great one. The Santa Claus, Say Anything, great film. Scott Pilgrim, great film. Scrooge, great film. Um, Secret Window, Serenity, Seven Pounds, brilliant film, very sad ending. Sergeant Bilker, Shaun of the Dead, Short Circuit, Signs, Sixteen Candles, love that. Sleepers in Seattle, Subdog Millionaire, great film. So, so I Married an Axe Murderer, great film. Some kind of wonderful, need to see that. Spaceballs, hilarious. And we've got Space Season 1 and 2, great show. Spider Man Trilogy, Spy Hard, and The Stand. Uh, all good stuff there, The Stand is class. And then, gotta move. And then, um, go down here. We have, I'm not going to pull all these out, this would be really hard. Um, Star Trek, the motion picture, um, to the newest. I've got all of them apart from Beyond. Um, I've watched Wrath of Khan, Search for Spark, Voyage Home, Star Trek, and Star Trek Into Darkness so far. I need to watch the others. Um, Star Wars, Clone Wars, all you mind, I haven't watched that yet. St. Elmo's Fire, Stuck on News, great film. Sunshine, Super 8, Superhero, Superhero movie, I love that. Um, Superman Returns, Terminal, Terminator, Predator, Commando on a set, Terminator uh, um, 1 through 4, and then a Machina series at the bottom. And then we have um, Free Men, The Little Lady, True Lies, Truman Show, uh, True Lies is great. 12 Monkeys, Unbreakable, Uncle Buck's great film, Beef of Vendetta, another great film. Um, Village, War of the Worlds, Watchmen, Tales of the Black Freighter, Wayne's World, Wayne's World 2, just two of the funniest films you'll ever see. Um, what about Bob? Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Willy Wonka of the Chocolate Factory is an absolute classic. The Wind Rises, World's End, X-Men 1 through 6, Zero Dark 30, Zodiac and Zombieland. So guys, um, that is the movie collection. But there's still one more to show you and that is the TV show collection. Got to show you that. So, let me get up. Yeah, quite a lot of films. Uh, I think we've just got just over 200 probably. Um, I think each of shelf says 89 or 90 on, so quite a few. Okay, so let's go to the TV show. So we have um, Friends, um, the seasons 1 to 3, 4 to 7 and um, 8 to 10. They're the uh, 20th anniversary sets, uh, which are the extended episodes and really good special features on this. That's really good. Uh, Seinfeld 1 through 9, hilarious show. Um, and we have 70 show 1 through 8, uh, this whole show. Uh, my funny, my favourite show ever, 70 show is. I absolutely love it. I love the characters and it's a great show. If they ever come out with a special set for that, I will buy it. Or on Blu-ray. King of the Hill 1 through 5. I need to hit the other 8. But after season 5, they go up to £14 each. So, yeah, Dawson's Creek, um, whole show, that's a real good show. Um, Gilmore Girl is brilliant, doesn't even work anymore, playing so, watch it so much, but I've got Netflix. Scrubs, the whole show, one of my favourites, just hilarious. And so I felt the complete series in a limited edition coffee table book set. I've got that twice because I had the original show all individually beforehand, then I brought the collector set where I traded a couple of things in, got some money I wasn't expecting. I got 50 quid, which was really happy. I'd wanted that set for years, I saw it at CEX and I knew I could not resist. So I got it and I kept the others, I thought why not. Uh, so I can use them and not wear this on that. But um, with Seinfeld Season 5, I actually forgot a disc in my collector set. So I put the disc in there that was missing. I've given the other one to someone, I just sort of go downstairs. And then I brought the, um, I brought Season 5 back uh, in a nice bulkier set. I need to get 6 and 9 in uh, thick editions. Otherwise it's going to real bug, really bug the hell out of me. Plus it means I can move King of the Hill over there. Which will complete that little slot there. Yeah, I need to do that actually. <laughs> I, have to, I have to check how much they are on Amazon right now. But uh, yeah, guys, that's been the uh, whole collection. Um, I hope you did enjoy. Um, I'll link down, if I've reviewed many of these films, I'll link them down. I'll definitely link down in the Doctor Horrible Single Lung blog uh, review. I don't think I've reviewed much else actually that I own. 
and there must be a couple though. I'll, I'll, I'll try have a look in case you want to watch them. But um, yeah, I appreciate I appreciate you watching, guys. Uh, really helps out that YouTube money. I'm currently right now. I've earned fifty cents from YouTube, so that's definitely going towards a GameCube. It's going to really help. Um, one two thousandth off. <laughs> no, probably not two thousand because uh, fifty cents is about thirty p. So I reckon. One, probably one one hundred so, yeah. <laughs> uh, But thanks for uh, watching. It's been an awesome uh, movie collection. I'm not collecting for movies anymore. I haven't brought a film in an incredibly long time. Um, I just tend to buy TV shows I like now. But I've got Netflix, so I don't buy many of them anymore. Um, the main thing I'm focusing right now is Nintendo games and stuff for them and. Just Games in general, I'm enjoying. But um, yeah, if you want to uh, recommend um, a film or recommend a review, then I'll try uh, watch the film if I haven't watched it already and do a review on it. But um, there's going to be some new vids coming up. Um, tomorrow there should be a, D a CD collection coming up, I think, and um, that's going to be really hard. I don't think the video's got five likes yet, the no K one. But I'm just going to do it anyway. And then this weekend, uh, the Masterpiece Review Series will be brought back. And I'm um, not sure about Sunday, but there's uh, doing daily uploads now. Um, I was inactive for quite a while. So sorry about that. And um, who knows, maybe I'll start reviewing the superhero shows at some point. You know, in a week or two I will. But yeah, thanks for watching. This has been the movie and... TV show collection. I do have a Mario Galaxy 2 DVD, which is with my games, because it's in a little sleeve. So I just thought there's no reason to show that at all. It's pointless. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the room of well, the, the movies. That's the room. That's the movies, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Bye.